Hi, and welcome to How to Set Up a Scale Form Menu Part 5, Kismet for Menu Buttons. My name is Jake Miller, and I'm a level design student at the Guild Hall at SMU, Cohort 16. Today's tutorial is going to use UDK May 2011, and the date is June 6th of 2011. Let's get right into it. On the upper toolbar, you'll see a K with an arrow in the lower right-hand portion. Go ahead and click that to open Kismet and you'll see a fresh blank slate for us to create our menu. First we need to set up the beginning where we load up the movie. So go into New Event after right clicking in the gray space. And then we're going to click Level Loaded. We need one more. Right click into the gray space and choose New Action, GFX UI, and Open GFX Movie. Make sure you check Take Focus and the other properties that we'll need to change include the movie. Make sure you navigate to the content browser, choose the movie you created earlier, and then click the green arrow. This will fill in which movie you want the level to load. Now connect the loaded and visible node to the input of OpenGFX Movie. And now that we've got the level loading the menu, we need to give the, function some, the button some functionality. So right click in the gray area and do a new event, GFX UI, FS command, or flash command. An important step is to again click the green button under FS command properties, otherwise the flash command won't know where it's listening. Now in the box below, across from FS command, input the action script the button is set to. I set my first button to send the message of load map, so I'm going to input load map here. And it's important to note that this text is simply to prompt Unreal to do something. This means that all that matters here is that the two sets of text here and in your action script in Flash match. Now right click in the gray area and add a new action, miscellaneous console command. Connect the output from the FS command into console command. And then in the properties of console command, add the console command to be executed, such as open menu dash tutorial level. This will open the tutorial level we created in part four. Now right click in the gray area, we need to give the console command a variable. So go to new variable, player, and player, left click on that, and connect the target of the console command to players. Make sure the player index is set to zero and all players is checked. Now we're ready to build, save, and test. Make sure you always test your menus by clicking play in PC, not play in editor. To load in your new level. Now if you'll notice the player can still move around and the HUD is still displayed over the menu. This is expected because we haven't fully scripted our menu yet. This just shows that we have the cursor, the buttons are there, however you can still shoot if you like. Let's get back into Kismet. To turn off the HUD and player motion, we need to go back to the editor and click View World Properties. Now in the window that pops up, make sure that you check the No Default Inventory for Player, and then Exit. Within the gray space, right click and select a new event, Player, and Player Spawn. We need to disable Player Motion, so we need to have a new action, Toggle, cinematic mode. Connect the output of when the player spawned into the enable of the toggle cinematic mode. And then in cinematic mode, make sure and disable input. Keep disable turning checked and the hide HUD checked. Those are the most important. And then right click in the background and add a variable for cinematic mode, which is player and player.
In the properties, uncheck all players and connect the target of player zero, target of toggle cinematic mode to player zero. Now you have a fully functional menu. Let's go ahead, save, and test in PC. Alrighty, now we have our menu. As you can see, I kept this menu short so that you could see that there was the level behind it which opens up a world of possibilities and we have our two buttons the first button I've rigged up to load map and the second button I haven't scripted in Kismet yet so it won't do anything no matter how hard I click but the first button will load the map that we saved earlier and here we are loaded straight into the level that we created earlier now you have a fully functional menu with this method, developers can create a menu without touching Unreal Script at all. Any of the console com commands found at udn.epicgames.com can be used to flesh out a full menu system. For added functionality, however, a programmer is required. Please see part two of creating a HUD series on custom menu and HUD classes if that's more in line with your development requirements. Thank you so much for joining me. And have a great day.